Welcome everyone to episode number 38 of my Pokemon Alola Ultra Creator Key Nuzlocke series. As we get into the fifth half of the final list of the Nuzlocke. As discussed in the last video, we just took on the next five bosses in the last part. Zygarde, Mewtwo, and Cresselia that are found in both titles, plus Latios in Ultra Sun, or in Ultra Moon, sorry, and Latios in Ultra Moon, or Ultra Sun. Yeah, I had to correct myself on that there. But you get the point. Latios in Ultra Moon, Latios in Ultra Sun, yeah. Anyways, here we are tackling the fifth half of this list, and we're going to take on the next six bosses. However, this is going to be vastly different from the last three parts that you've seen from the first, second, and third ones, and episodes 35, 6, and 7, respectively. That's because we're going to be tackling through the first of four Tapu bosses in this game, as well as tackling the first of four exclusive Ultra Beast boss fights, and tackling four different exclusive Legendary battles. So what this means is that we're dealing with one Tapu boss, one Ultra Sun exclusive boss found in the White Portals, obviously, two bosses from Ultra Sun coming from both the Green and Yellow Portals, and two Ultra Moon exclusive battles, also coming from the Green and Yellow Portals, respectively. If you couldn't already tell, this is quite a lot in comparison to that of the last one, because we have way more bosses to deal with here than what happened from before. So this is going to be a bit more heavy than the last couple of parts from before. But <laughs> I don't mean that this is going to be easy as we're tackling through some pretty tough battles right away. So if you'll excuse me, we need to first head over to Ula Ula Island to tackle our very first boss since you can't actually access him in where I am right now. So if you guys excuse me, let me cut this and get over and catch you guys back once I get over this. So hold on. All right, guys, here we are in, of course, the Ruins of Abundance to tackle our very first boss for the fifth half of this list. Now, if you're wondering why I'm in the Ruins of Abundance, this is where our first boss is going to be located in since he's found only in the Ula Ula Island area. But on top of that, this is also going to be our very first Tapu boss. So... Anything can happen here, as you can already tell. And to be honest, I am very, very nervous to tackle this first Tapu boss, but hopefully we'll be able to defeat him. But I'm not counting my chickens or betting money on it. So let's go ahead and enter the first Tapu boss of the game. Who boy. All right, here we go. Time for our first Tabu boss. There he is, Tabu Bulu. Say hello to our next contestant, Leonidas the Turtonator. All right, Tabu Bulu's gonna start by using his grassy surge ability, setting up grassy terrain. Welcome to the Tabu battle against the Hawaiian bull god of peace, Tabu Bulu. This is the first of many Tabu bosses in the game. Actually, the first of four of them within the game. Now, I'm not going to lie, I am very scared to tackle these Tabu bosses because I have no idea what they're going to have in store in regards to their attacks and such, so I need to be very careful. This guy's equipped with Nature's Madness, Zen Headbutt, Mega Horn, and Skull Bash. Hopefully, we'll be able to beat him, but I'm not betting my money on it, so... Let's start by using Venom Shock on this guy. Oh crap! Oh shit! Oh, that's gonna hurt! Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Oh, okay. There's Venom Shock. Wow, that really did not do anything. Okay, that did a lot of damage, but it sadly did not KO him. Okay, I need to protect on this turn because I have no idea what he's gonna do. Okay, protect. What is he gonna do? Protect it, you sucker! That would have not done a lot of damage anyway, even if I got hit by the attack, but best not to, you know, bet on it. Okay. Okay, let's do- Wait, no, I didn't need to click on that! Oh, shoot, this is gonna do a lot of damage! Oh, that actually didn't do a lot. 
Man, I'm stupid. I accidentally pressed Dragon Claw when I was not meaning to. Okay, that's what my dumb ass gets when I'm paying attention. Okay. Okay. Let me full restore here because I'm really nervous that this dude's gonna throw in a major hit against me, so let me full restore here. Okay. He was just gonna Mega Horn. Thankfully, they didn't do a lot of damage, so. Okay. I think he should be in KO range for a Fire Z move, but if this doesn't kill him, I'm gonna be mad, so let's fire off the Inferno Overdrive. We avoided the attack! Nice! Alright. Come on, Leo Ninjas. Pull up your strongest attack and beat this Tabo Bulu. Inferno! Overdrive! Go! Bam! Alright, Tabo Bulu took it down. was tough. That was not an easy battle, but thankfully we were able to beat him. Whew. Well, we got the Tabu Niam Z, so that's at least something, but whew. Talk about a tough battle, man. That was hard. Whew. All right. Well, with that boss cleared, that means our very first Tabu boss is officially completed. But <laughs> even though we just cleared first Tapu boss, we are not done with the game yet, guys. <laughs> but I'm going to have to meet you guys later because we're going to have to head back over to the Ultra Space Ride area. So if you'll excuse me, let me cut this and I'll meet you guys back when we go over there. So hold on. All right. Here we are in the Ultra Space Warp Ride area. Now, before we actually begin with, with boss number 25, I need to say something real quick, okay? So because there's five targets that we're going to tackle for this episode, which of course includes one white portal boss, two green portal bosses, and two yellow portal bosses, I can't face against them all at the same time in this episode because they're all found in different locations, so I can't ultimately battle them in the same game effectively. So because of that, we need to ultimately battle them in several different segments effectively. So because of that, I'm ultimately going to battle against these bosses in several different specific planks based on what we're dealing with here. So, for that exact case, we're ultimately going to battle against the Ultra Moon bosses first, and then we'll go over to the Ultra Sun fights after those battles are completed. So, for now, we're just going to target the first two targets, which of course comes from, of course, the green and yellow portals. So, let's go ahead and start with that first. Alright, so Galio, let's find the first of the five targets that we need to track down. Let's see if we can find either an ultra rare green or ultra rare yellow portal. Honestly, I'm not expecting my luck to carry on to this one because in all honesty, I've been a little bit uh, on the struggle bus lately with this. So, I don't know how lucky I'm going to get in this one, but I do remember failing over a hundred times last time when I went through this. So, let's just see how this goes, huh? Very, very gentle here. Come on. On Earth, was there an order behind that green portal, by the way? Ay, 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 ay. Come on with that dude. Oh, my God. That is risky as hell. Chill out with that man. Come on. Come on now. Oh my god, I almost got into that one by mistake. Thank god I was paying attention or otherwise I would have gone in there by accident and would have felt very salty about myself. Like, goodness, man. Gosh darn 
Alright, son! Found an ultra rare red portal. How the hell was there a blue orb over there? Come on, that's not fair game. Alright, come on out. Dude, what are you doing? Come on, bruh. Aha! Found an ultra rare yellow portal. About time. Okay, a legendary has appeared. Who are we facing? Aha! That was one of the targets I was trying to go for. Okay, about time this guy finally showed up. Okay, before we get in, I need to do a couple things first. So, one second. Get his best journey up. Okay, there we go. Okay, one second, guys. Okay, I think we're set to go. Let's do this. All right, time for our fourth yellow portal boss. It's Reggie Gigas from the Sinnoh region. Sailor next, next contestant, Melsa the Magmortar. All right, he's gonna start by using his slow start ability. Welcome to the Ultra Moon battle against the Sinnoh Blemius King Golem Legendary, Reggie Gigas. Even that title sounds powerful, damn. Okay, so Reggie Gigas is one of the stranger bosses that I'm covering for this video because for some reason Reggie Gigas Knowledge is the is one of the only few bosses to be exclusive to one version of the game, only in Alola. You can only find him in the Ultra um, Yellow Portal areas, only in Ultra Moon, even though he appears elsewhere in Ultra Sun's Battle Tree area, which is a bit odd, because in every single game that Regigigas appears in, he's almost always found in both types. But for some reason in Alola, you can only find him in Ultra Moon and not in Ultra Sun, which is really weird if I can be honest. I don't know what gave him the decision to do that, but that's a little stupid if I'm going to be honest. But anyways, enough about that. Let's go ahead and begin this battle. Now, even though this guy is not going to be faster than me, I am a little bit nervous because this guy does, is equipped with Confuse Ray, Dizzy Punch, Revenge, and Zen Headbutt. So I really need to be careful here. So... I'm going to start by using Thunderbolt here, because I'm a little bit nervous of what he's going to do here, so... Well, I barely even did anything. Dizzy Punch! Oh, crap. Okay, thankfully that didn't confuse me, so we're good. Okay, I predict to you that he's going to probably confuse Raimi this turn, so let's protect. I know this is pointless to do this, but I'd rather do this than get hit by the move. Oh, no, he chose not to do that. Okay. Let's flank her here. I'm really hoping that this, this doesn't do too much damage, because if he, reve if he revenges, we're in trouble. Sit him, but oh crap! That surprisingly did not do a lot of damage. I thought that was going to do way more, but okay, apparently not, I guess. Okay, let me full restore here, because I'm a little bit nervous of what he's going to do here, so... Better to be safe than sorry. Oh, there it is. I should have just attacked on that turn. I'm an idiot. Okay. Matt Mortar, if you cannot confuse yourself when you land this Thunderbolt, that'll be amazing. Please don't confuse and hit yourself. Please. Please. Really? Oh, nice. We avoided the Zen Hebba. Oh, crap. The five turns are up. Oh, shoot. Okay. This is a problem. Okay. Melsa, I beg of you to land this all-out pummeling and not and be faster than Reggie Gigas. Please. Please. Okay, thank you. I was about to get so mad if I didn't land, man. I was just about to say. Alright. Go for it, Melsa. Send off your strongest attack and beat this Reggie Gigas. All-out pummeling. Okay, that boss was a little 
little tough, but thankfully that wasn't hard per se, so that did go by a little bit better than I was expecting, but... Okay, that was a bit cheap of him to get that confused right hit and immediately just make my Mac Mortar punch herself in the face like that. But, I mean, hey, at least we were able to clear our first Ultra Moon battle, so that's at least something, okay? Alright, well, with that Ultra Moon boss cleared, we can save our game here, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, with that being said, there's one more Ultra Moon battle we have left. So let's see if we can buy that other one and then head over to Ultra Sun after this. Alright, time to tackle boss number 26, which actually means we're halfway done with this entire list. I'm just shocked that we made it this far. Well, anyways, let's tackle our next boss now, which is of course the last Ultra Moon exclusive battle that we're going to tackle against for now. So let's get back in there and find an Ultra Rare Green Portal if we can. But I'm not betting my money on it, so... Alright, come on, Sagalio. Let's find that last target that we need to find before I head over to Ultra Sun and meet up with Lunala. It's nothing personal, but buddy, it's just that I can't find the other three bosses in this game because they're not found in Ultra Moon. So, because they ain't found in Ultra Moon, I need to go over to the other game after this. Which doesn't make no sense, but still, that's how this game works. Alright, come on now. How the heck did I miss that, man? Come on, dude. Really? Jesus Christ, man. Damn. It always gets so nerve-wracking when you're going so fast, man. Even if it doesn't look like you're going fast, you're probably gonna bump into something like that, for example. Legendary has appeared. Who are we facing? Aha! Found him! That was the other target I was going for. Alright. One tiny little second. Before we battle him, I need to do a couple things. So, one second. Okay, let me get his first stirring up. Okay. Let me do something first. I think we're all set to go. Let's do this. Welcome to our fifth green portal boss. It's Entei from the Johto region. Say hello to our next contestant, Amelie the Slow King. All right, he's sitting in pressure against me. Welcome to the Ultra Moon battle against the Johto Ragda St. Bernard, Fire Legendary Beast, Entei. Whoo, that's got to be the longest title thing I've ever read, even for a legendary. But anyways, so Entei, as you can see, is found in only Ultra Moon's Green Portal area, since you can only find him here and not in Ultra Sun, despite the fact that Animal has Entei in Ultra, Moon, Ultra Sun, as well as some trainers that also have an Entei with them, which is a bit weird to say the least. I'm not sure why Entei can only be found in Ultra Moon here and not in, you know, Ultra Sun specifically, but that's how it is. Anyway, for the strong dog and uh, the strong lion here, he has Stomp, Bite, Swagger, and Lava Plume, which is admittedly a little bit concerning, so I had to hope that I don't get damaged too much here. So let's start with an earthquake here. Oh crap. 
God, that's super effective against Slowking. Crap. And that barely even did a third. Okay, I need to, um, freaking protect here. This is way too risky. I really don't want to get smacked by another bite. Oh! Trying to go for the swagger chance, eh? I see you. Oh, crap. He landed in successfully. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Please do not come for yourself a meal, please. Please? Okay, thank you. Phew! That was close. Oh, that almost got him! Not quite. Okay, I need a full restore, uh, Emil here. I'm not about to deal with this freaking uh, nonsense. You got me messed up with that, man. I'm not about to mess with that. Come on. Lava Boom! Oh, crap. Freaking biscuit, man. Really, Ante? Really? You gotta treat your boy like that? Okay, I see you. Okay. I'm really hoping this Hydro Vortex can kill Ante here, but I swear to God, if, if he swaggers me, or if he even just, you know, tries to land a, a flinching move on me, I'm gonna be upset. Right, come on now. Alright, Lava Plume. Critical! Oh my god. Okay, come on, Emil. Send out your strongest attack. Pull all you can and beat this Entei. Come on. <laughs> Hydro Vortex, go! <laughs> Bam! Okay, Entei took it down. <laughs> Man. Entei was annoying, man. Legit, he was annoying. Like, my man literally flinched, literally had a super fight to move against me, swaggered me, got me confused, and then burnt me at the same time. What the crap was that about, man? Whew. That was kind of challenging, I'm not gonna lie, but thankfully we were able to beat him. Whew. Yo, that was kind of a tough battle. I mean, thankfully we were able to beat him, but Jesus, I was not anticipating that fight to be that tricky. All right, well, with those two Ultra Moon battles cleared, that actually covers it for all the Ultra Moon battles. But we ain't done yet. Even though we cleared all the Ultra Moon battles, there's still three more we have left to tackle for this part of the list. But now that we're done with all of the Ultra Moon battles, we gotta now head over to the Ultra Sun fights, of which there's only just three of them. Which means that the options are going to be a lot bigger once we get over to that point. So if you'll excuse me, I'll meet you guys back when we get over to Ultra Sun, so we can see who we're going to tackle against next. Alright, y'all. So I'm back in Ultra Sun to deal with, of course, the next boss of this list, and of course deal with boss number 27, since you can only battle these last three bosses in Ultra Sun, considering that they're the last three bosses of this whole shindig. So, of course... I had to deal with them in this exact case, and it only makes sense that I do that. So, let's see who we're going to battle against next here, but I'm gonna be real, I'm a little bit nervous of who we're gonna tackle, so let's just hope for the best here, okay? Hello, Lunala, did you miss me? Well, I'm back and ready to tackle the next boss now, since we have to tackle our last three bosses in this entire catalog. So come on, let's get into it. Let's see if we can find an ultra rare yellow or green portal, or find one of those white uh, portals that has at least a ring on it, so. Alright, come on. I gotta make sure I don't mess this up, though, because if I end up messing it up, I'm gonna look like a freaking fool, so. Come on. What am I doing? Already I'm fumbling. Okay, and I deserve that. Oh my god, man. Bruh, what the hell am I actually doing? I'm, like, fumbling, like, left and right, man. What am I doing? Come on. Come on, now. What are you doing? <laughs> like, really? How the hell did I miss that, man? Come on, dude. Really? Really? All right, come on now.
Hey, heck off, man. Are you serious? All right, come on now. Oh my god, that was far too close. I legit almost entered that red portal by accident, man. Relax with that, bro. Seriously. Aha! Found an ultra rare green portal. Okay, a legendary has appeared, but we face it. Aha! There he is! That's one of the targets I was going for. Okay, so with that being said, one little second. Let me look for the best rarity on this guy. Okay, one second. Okay, I think we're set to go. Let's do this. Welcome to our sixth Green Portal boss. It's Raikou from the Johto region. See you to our next contestant, Blur the Ampharos. Okay, is any pressure against me? Welcome to the Ultra Sun Battle against the Johto Raijo Raiju Electric Legendary Beast, Raikou. Okay, so this legendary beast goes by the same rules as Entei from before. You can only find him within the green portals in Ultra Sun's uh, right area even though he's found elsewhere in the Ultra Moon battle tree, since Annabelle still has him in Ultra Moon, plus the fact that there are some trainers that do also have Raikos with them in the battle tree as well, so I find it a little weird that you can't fight him in you can't fight him in Ultra Moon specifically. It would have made a lot more sense if he was in Ultra Moon and not Entei, but apparently that's what's going on here. So who am I to judge? But anyways, given that Raikos our second legendary beast here, we can't actually face against the third one yet since he isn't accessible until way later in the game. But you'll see when we get over to the final half later. Anyway, enough of that. I'm gonna start this all by actually using a Bulldoze first, because I actually didn't know that Ambrose could even learn this move, so I'll let Fleur do the job first. Crunch! Oh, crap. Please do not lower my physical defense, please. I just said, don't lower my physical defense. Oh, my God. And the barely even did a third in return. Come on, man. That did lower his speed, though. Okay, we are not in a good position. Okay. Let's power jump, I guess? Reflect! Oh, crap. That guy's gonna be stronger than my physical attacks, isn't he? Yep. Well, power jump's not gonna do anything. I did a decent chunk, but not as much as I was hoping for. Okay. Let's Thunderbolt here. Discharge! Oh, crap! Oh, that's gonna hurt! Okay, thankfully they didn't paralyze me, so we're good. Are you kidding me? That didn't do a lot of damage? Oh my god, man. Okay, uh, what am I supposed to do here? Um, um, I guess I can hyper potion here? I mean, I don't know what difference that's gonna make, but I guess... Oh, crap. Okay, thankfully they didn't do too much damage to me, so... Okay. Let's fire off a Tectonic Rage here and try to KO Raikou here, but I swear to God, if he ends up sending off a move that flinches me, I'm gonna be mad, so... I'm really hoping I can land off this move. Come on. Crunch! Oh, crap. Oh, that's gonna hurt! Oh, that did a lot. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Lurk, send off your strongest move and beat this Raikou. Come on! Turn up your strongest attack and beat this right up. Come on. Tectonic Rage! Go! Bear that thing to the ground! Bam! Alright, Raiko took it down. Oh, bro. Okay, man, that was kind of a tough battle. I mean, he didn't do too much to me, but damn, that was quite a tough battle. I mean, not as hard as the Entei fight, because Entei was a little bit more annoying, but man, that was sure as hell a tough battle. Goodness me, man. 
But hey, positive is that we clear that battle, so we don't have to deal with any more green portal bosses now. With that one clear. But whoo we that was sure a tough battle. Alright. Well, with that boss cleared, there's only just two bosses left that we have to left to tackle with an Ultra Sun. Only just two. Now who are who are we gonna be battling next is beyond me, but let's just find out. Alright. Let's get into boss number 28. Now, who are we going to battle against next? No idea, but let's see. Alright, Lunala, let's find the next of the two targets that I'm trying to track down. Let's see if we can find them. Alright, come on. Let's see if we can find one of those ultra rare yellow portals, or at least one of those white portals that has at least a ring on it, so. Woo-wee! That was close. That was way, way too close. Sorry about being quiet in these. I'm trying to focus in, you know, making sure that I align myself correctly, but it's not easy to do so when you have so much on the screen at all at once, you know? So it's not easy. Portal. Okay, a legendary has appeared. Can we face him? Aha! There we go. That was the other target I was trying to go for. Man, that took a while for him to show up. All right, one little second. Let me get his best jury here. Okay, one second, y'all. Alright, I think we're set to go. Let's do this. Alright, enter our fifth yellow portal boss. It's Heatran from the Sinnoh region. Enter our next contestant, Fritz the Electivire. Welcome to the battle against the Sinnoh Volcano Monster Earth Legendary, Heatran. So, Heatran again is another one of those weird ultrasonic exclusive bosses. Now, for some reason, Heatran can be encountered in the battle tree within Ultra Moon's battle tree, but you can only battle him in Ultra Sun's yellow portal area and nowhere else in the game, which is admittedly a little strange because Despite the fact that Heatran has no prevalence in the story or anything, yeah, this is the only time that Heatran's ever been exclusive to one game and not both games like it is in every other title, so it's the same as that weird case like with Reggie Gigas from earlier, which is really odd to say the least. Anyway, this dude is equipped with Crunch, Scary Face, Lava Bloom, and Fire Spin, the last of which I'm the most concerned about, so I'm really hoping that we can beat this thing, so... I'm gonna start this battle by immediately using Brick Break. Whoa! I did not expect to get a crit. Fire Spin! Oh crap! Oh no. I'm trapped in the Fire Vortex. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um. Uh. Thunder Punch? Oh, that almost got him! Not quite. Oh shoot. Ooh, I'm not looking too good, man. Okay, okay. I need to protect. I need to freaking protect, man. 
No, I'm not risking it. I am not risking it. You got me messed up with that, man. Okay, thankfully I dodged that. Oh, I'm not looking good right now. Okay, no, no, no. I need to use a full restore. I'm not about to risk it, man. You got me so messed up with that. I'm going to get myself back to full HP. You got me absolutely messed up with that. Okay, I'm lowering my uh, speed. I'm not too surprised, honestly. Okay, I think this is the last turn that um, Fire Spin is going to hurt me, so let me try to protect again. What? That failed! Oh! Okay. Okay. I got scared there. I thought, I thought Heatran was going to hit me with uh, another uh, lava boom. Okay. Huh? Fire Spin didn't end? Huh. Odd. Okay, let me try to protect again. Just trying to make sure I'm careful. Okay, thankfully I didn't get hit by that. Okay, there we go. Finally got free from the Fire Spin. Okay, let's try a gigavolt havoc and hope to god that this KO's heat train here. So Crunch! Oh crap! Oh, that's gonna hurt! Oh crap, that lower my physical defense. Alright! Prince, send up your strongest attack! Come on! Send up your strongest attack and beat this heat train! Come on! Gigavolt Havoc! Go! Bam! All right, he trans took it down. Woo! We doggy. Like the fact that he got that fire spin off, and I nearly almost died to it was pretty. It was almost embarrassing. Thankfully, I came with the strategy of using protect on that turn, so I didn't get hit by too many of his attacks. But man, that was really freaky to deal with that. But thankfully, we were able to beat him. Y'all, that was kind of a tough battle, I'm not going to lie. But thankfully, we were able to beat him, so that's at least a positive. Whew. All right. Well, with that fight cleared, there's only just one boss left that we have left to battle against to finally wrap this video up. Well, I think we can only tell what that's going to lead to. All right, gang. There's only one more boss left. Only just one that we have left to battle against within Ultra Sun. I think you know what that means, huh? Let's go back in there one more time and try to find a white portal. So, let's get into it. Alright, Lunala, let's find one last boss that is found here in Ultra Sun. Let's try to find a white portal and see if we can find our last target. So as we found all the other targets up to this point, there's only just one more that we have left to find. So, let's get to it. Oh my god, that threw me off for a loop. I don't know what was going on there, man. Explored. I guess we found where our last target is located in. There it is. The Ultra Jungle. What the fuck? 
Yo, what is this rocking music in the studio? Wait a minute. Yo, wait a minute. Yo, I was expecting this theme to be this funky. Wait a minute. Yo, this is my first time hearing this music track, and I wasn't expecting it to sound this funky. Wait a minute. Yo, these instruments sound good as hell. Wait a minute. Okay, let's stop at around here. Because I think that's going to be where the trigger of the boss is. But I got to fix up a couple of things. So one second, y'all. All right. I think we're set to go. Let's get up there and see our last boss of this part of the list. This music is so funky, man. Oh, my God. Okay, what is going on over there? What in the world? What the crap? Okay, I was not expecting that. Okay. Welcome to our fourth Ultra Beast boss. It is the legendary Boswell. Alright, he's gonna raise his physical defense. Say hello to our last contestant for now, Louise the Rabambi. Alright, welcome to the Ultra Sun battle against the Alola Adi's Alo Pictus Mosquito Ultra Beast, Boswell. So, this is the first of four exclusive Ultra Beast bosses. And it might be ironic that this is our last boss that we're gonna face against for today. Considering this guy's a big flexing machine, but that's besides the point. Anyway, because Buswell has higher physical defense and he just roses his physical defense even more, that means my physical attacks are gonna do absolutely nothing. But thankfully, Louise here does have some special attacks to make up for that. But I don't know how powerful this guy is really going to be, despite the fact that I have tons of uh, <clears throat> powerful moves. So I need to be very careful here. So let me start with a leech life here. Wow, that did absolutely nothing. Okay. Lunch! Oh, crap! Oh, dear lord. That did way more damage than I thought it was going to do. Okay. Even that was a resistant attack, that did way more damage than I thought. Call him up. Okay, did a decent chunk, but not as much as I was hoping for! That literally almost killed Louise, man. That literally almost killed her. Okay, no, no, no. I'm full restoring. I'm going restoring after seeing that, man. You got me messed up with that. Are you seriously going to keep on lunging, man? No, not kill again. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Protect on this turn, silly goose. We're going to make sure we don't get hit by another. Okay, good. Okay, let's... Again, before I use my Sperry Z move and hopefully crit it. <laughs> wow, I did absolutely nothing. Okay. Oh, that did a lot. Okay, no, I'm using another full restore. Man, this dude is powerful. I forgot how high this guy's physical attack is. I mean, good thing he didn't raise his physical attack. We would have been in trouble if that was the case. Alright, punching again. Okay, that did a lot more damage than last time. Okay. Leech Life, I guess? Hopefully get some HP back. Man, that did the littlest amount of damage known to mankind. My freaking god, man. Oh, boy! Oof. We are not in a good spot, man. I need a full restore again. I, I can't risk it. I need to full restore. Because otherwise I'm going to end up, you know... Putting myself at great risk, you know? Man, this dude's just gonna keep on lunging over and over again, isn't he? Okay. Let's try to pull him up here. Because I don't want a fairy Z move yet. Oh, I almost got him. Not quite. Okay, that did a lot more damage than last time. Okay. 
I think now would be the best time to power off the, the very Z move. Okay, maybe we'll work faster. All right, come on, Louise. Pull up your strongest attack and beat this buzzwool. Come on. Come on, little Ramami. Clinkle tackle. Go. literally flexed before he died. That's like the, the best way for someone for someone to die. Hold up. My man literally just flexed before he died. What the crap is this game? Yo, when I tell y'all that this is one of the funkiest music tracks I've ever heard of, you do not understand how funky it is, okay? Okay, well, with that taken care of, let's get out of here. All right, well, with that fight completed, I think this is a good start to wrap up this episode, so let me save the game. Woof! Well, that's going to about cover for this episode, guys. Do hope that you guys enjoyed the fifth half of the series, but man, we tackled some very tough bosses throughout this whole thing, man. Like, there was a lot of very challenging foes for me to deal with. Like, freaking Reggie Gingas and Entei proved to be a little annoying. Reko wasn't bad. Tapu Bolo proved to be kind of tough. Heatran almost killed me. And then, of course, yeah, Buzzwell proved to be a little bit more difficult than I thought he was going to be. But <laughs> I don't think he's going to be as challenging as another Ultra Beast counterpart. But we'll get to her later, don't you worry. But anyways... I think this is a good start to wrap up this episode, so I do hope that you guys enjoy this episode. It's been a little bit difficult with these bosses, I'm not gonna lie, but thankfully we only failed about 58 times before I got the right bosses to show up, so I will say it's not as bad as the other three episodes that I did before, but some tells me that I'm about to get my ass kicked in the next couple of battles after this one. Just saying. But anyways, now that I have is completed, We'll see you guys next time when we come back to start up the next half, where we're going to be tackling through our next six bosses, but it's going to be a little bit different from last time. The next six bosses will consist of the next Tapu, the next Ultra Beast coming from Ultra Moon, and the next four exclusive Legendaries, two of which come from the Red Portals, one from Ultra Sun and one from Ultra Moon, one that comes from the Yellow Portal and Ultra Sun, and one that comes from the blue portal in Ultra Moon. This means that we're going to deal with the last yellow portal boss in Ultra Sun, the second blue portal boss in Ultra Moon, and then the first red portal boss each of both the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon variants. Plus, also tackling the first Ultra Beast in Ultra Moon as well, but in the, you know, more difficult scale. But anyways, we'll see you guys next time when we come back to start up that next episode. So till next time, guys, I will see you guys later. So, till next time, guys, bye.